The 2012 mountain climbing season is ending up as one of the deadliest on record. Early last Thursday, a massive avalanche on one of the most popular routes of the Mont Blanc range in the French Alps swept away nine climbers, injured 14 more. It was the worst mountaineering accident in France in more than a decade. C'est une pente qui est qui est raide. There are big plates of snow that we know of where an avalanche can easily be produced, but this morning we had no reason to expect an avalanche of this size and to expect such a tragedy. So many people tried to climb Mount Everest this season. Officials called it a traffic jam. Four climbers died on the way down from the summit when the weather suddenly went bad. Two of them insisted on reaching the top, despite warnings from their guides to turn back. They've spent a lot of money and they don't want to give off. Prasang Sherpa has climbed Mount Everest four times. He's planning another ascent next year. He's retired, but he's seen reckless behavior by climbers. So they say to you, take me yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, they want to attract the same day. We can save their life because nobody can challenge with the weather, you know. An avalanche on North America's highest peak, Mount McKinley, killed four climbers in June. Two others died in falls. Veteran climber Grayson Schaefer sees freakish weather conditions as one cause of this year's disasters. Climate change is certainly one of the things that's um, contributing to some dangerous conditions on the mountains. But, you know, in the case of Everest, what actually ended up killing people was probably more a lack of experience. Uh, novice climbers getting in over their heads. With mountain climbing's popularity growing, experts expect that trend to continue. Tony Gaida, CBS News, New York.